What's going on guys? Stevie from the Minimasters Masters here and today I'm going to show you how to replace the bulbs in your dash cluster. So it's really bright out so I've got this tented off so you can see it. So here's your cluster and I'll turn everything on and you see this kind of dark spot right here. That's how you know you've lost a light bulb behind your dash. Now I've had this uh, dash out before and you can see how bright this side is versus like around here that's because i used leds so that's actually what we're going to replace this burnt bulb with so to get started we're going to remove the knob here so you have your headlight knob here so there's the in position with everything off when you pull it out you'll notice there's this slot right there and so what you're going to do is you're going to take a flathead screwdriver reach down in there and you're going to pry that little metal tab there and as you pry you're going to pull back on the knob there and it'll come right off and you can see there's like little notches right there that hold it and then when you're done push it back in so your lights are off next you're going to pry your trim pieces away so you need one on each side so little screwdriver again i i prefer this guy here you're just going to get behind it somewhere so you notice I kind of searched around. A lot of times you just find a place where it's gonna pop easier because you don't want to break any of these tabs off. So that's one side. Once you have the trim pieces off of both sides, you'll notice that there is this screw right here and you can use a Torx or you can use a socket. So I'm just doing the Torx. You want to take that out. So with your screws removed on each side and your headlight knob removed, there's really nothing holding this here except for any wiring harnesses that are associated with this panel. So in this case, I do have a gauge here, but I actually have plenty of wire slack behind so I can pull it away. But then your fuel selector switch will also have a plug. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of go up the top here and you can actually pry it all away, okay? Now you'll notice your shifter gets in the way of you pulling it away easier so what i like to do is kind of put your truck into the start position pull your shifter all the way down to first gear make sure your parking brakes on and now it's all out of the way turn it to the off and you can maneuver everything out of the way now i'm getting a little pull over here because the fuel selector switch is still plugged in but i'm all disconnected from this side so with your dash pulled away here, here's the back side of your fuel selector switch. And so you're gonna wanna reach back here with, again, that little flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna pry up on this nice and gently here. Now, whatever you do, you don't wanna pull too hard on this because these will break out and you'll mess that whole piece up. So there it is, it's disconnected. And your whole dash can now be pulled safely away. And in this case, like I said, I still have my gauge wired up on the back side. So I'm just going to kind of leave this down here on the floor. And I thank my foresight for leaving on a nice long whip right there of a uh, wire. All right. So as you can see, your dash bezel is removed and you have now access to four screws. There's one here, here, there, and there. Same type that hold the dash bezel together right here behind the trim panels. And you have the option of using a traditional uh, socket or you can use a Torx. And just for reference, it's a T20 that I have on there. So you just reach in here, you start taking them out. So with the screws out, this thing can be moved. And there's a couple things you have to look out for when uh, moving this around. So one is you have your little cable that shows you where your park, reverse, neutral, that cable comes up right here. And that's a limiting factor and so are the wires in the back. So I think the best way to actually get this thing kind of all the way out is to actually tilt it up like this. And then I reach under and I pinch the connector that holds the, lo the loom in there. So there's one. Let me reach back here. All right, there's a second one. Let me tell you, they're a little difficult getting those out of there. You really got a pinch. So there's one more 
and it's right behind the speedo. And so I'm gonna kind of maneuver this a little bit more. And actually, it should be kind of, I'm gonna rotate it this way. And then it's right here, right behind the center. Same thing, just going to pinch and out it comes. If you have a tilting steering wheel, I can tell you that helps a lot because right now the wheel's in the way. This is an XL. They uh, didn't add the tilt function. So I'm kind of working with what I have. You can tilt the wheel down a bit, but here you are. Okay, so here's the backside, different angle for you. And each one of these is a light bulb. So if we remember correctly, it was the right side that was blown out on the other side of the Speedo. So presents to us, it's the left. So you're gonna spin these. They can be a little difficult to get out. So look at that one, telltale sign, that one's blown. So to replace them, they take 194 bulbs. Now I like to replace them with LEDs just because it just brightens up the whole dash. But one thing you wanna do is when you plug these in, turn your dash cluster around and turn it on. If it doesn't come on, it's, then you need to reverse the bulb. They can be a little polarity sensitive. So we're gonna replace this one. It just pops right out, just like that. Here's our new bulb. Put that guy right in there. And just like that, we've replaced the bulb. Now, I just like to balance things out. So if I replace this side, unless I was doing another incandescent, that I would just call it a day. But I also wanna replace this side because this one is more than likely incandescent. So there's a regular incandescent bulb. So we're gonna put a LED one in there. Put that guy back in. And now this is the Speedo. And ever since I upgraded some of these to LEDs, the Speedo look really dark. So I'm actually going to swap this one out here as well. There we go, LED bulb in. So just as a reference, I'm pretty sure these were the ones I've replaced before. There we go, there's one, still going strong. So at this point, we wanna test it. So we're gonna turn the dash around and we're gonna see if they actually work. All right, guys, so I have everything plugged back in. Unfortunately, you do have to plug everything in the backside or you can't do the test. Now, roughly, the center one, you don't need to be plugged in for this, but you do need the two sides. One does one side, one does the other. So here we go. Perfect example. This one is not in correctly, so we'll take it out, reverse it, and we should get that spot right there back. Okay, so I've reversed the bulb, and let's see. Bingo. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't work the first time, just take it out, reverse the light bulb in its socket and put it back in. LEDs are weird like that. Now, I didn't unplug the entire thing to do that quick change. I just tilted it up, reached behind, and just, you know, with just feeling for it, just spun it out, brought it out, swapped the light bulb, you know, out, and then uh, put it right back in. So from here on out, putting everything back is the reverse. You're just gonna reseat your dash cluster, put your four screws back in, and then you're going to get your cluster. Uh, you're gonna get your, your bezel here. You're gonna put that up. You have to be sure that you plug in your fuel pump right here, your fuel pump switch. If you don't, your truck won't start. Matter of fact, if you notice my fuel gauge is reading full, that's because this is unplugged. So you wanna plug that back in. That's it of your electronics after that. It's just the usual screws and trim pieces. And I'll bring you right back. All right, guys, so I've got everything hooked up and put back together. So the moment of truth. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. If you can just picture your usual incandescent bulbs, you can tell this is way brighter and it just looks so cool. I have to say, it kind of adds a little extra something when you're driving. Like you feel like you're driving a newer truck with a nice LED backlit cluster and all that. So 
Very cool. So as you can see, guys, it's a pretty simple procedure to change out those bulbs back there. You just have to pull that dash out, be real gentle with everything, and then you just click the new bulbs in. So I'm uh, dual wielding the uh, Little Miss Minute right here. So you know the drill. The subscribe icon over there, hit that. And then I've got all my other videos over here. You can check those out. And uh, I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.